Welcome back to another episode. The question that is burning on everyone's mind is, can you perform a diesel purge with Marvel Mystery Oil? We're here to find out. So if you freak with the channel, you already know what a diesel purge is, and you already know how to perform them. For those of you new to the channel, diesel purge is essentially a deep cleaning of your fuel injection system, from the filter housing to the CP3 unit, which is your fuel pump, to your uh, your injectors and all the lines in between. Uh, does not pull any fuel from the tank whatsoever. We're actually going to disconnect the send-in return line after the uh, filter housing, connect it to this 5 8 and this 3 8 fuel hose, and then we'll stick the other two ends in this Marvel Mystery Oil. So I performed a uh, fuel injection diesel purge a few months ago using Liquid Molly. And it seemed to work pretty good, but I just didn't feel like it got the full cleanse. I used two bottles, and that uh, banked me about a half hour of cleansing. And if you read, like, the AC Delco uh, Upper Engine Clean or the GM Genuine uh, Diesel Clean, that's really hard to get now, and uh, you really can't find them anywhere. They now make a BMW has one, but getting it sent somewhere to Alaska, just uh, damn near impossible. So we had to find other methods... Well, you can order Liquid Molly and have that sent to you, which is what I did. And it seemed to work out all right, but I just felt like it needed a deeper cleanse. And they say it takes about an hour or an hour and a half to get the full effect. So that's what we're going to do today. So why Marvel Mystery Oil? Uh, those of you who frequent the channel have heard me talk about it before, so we'll just uh, do a quick reiteration of it. What is Marvel Mystery Oil? It's like, well... Marvel Mystery Oil uh, came about in the early 1920s, was, if what I was reading is correct, was originally used to uh, deep cleanse submarine engines when they'd come back in from deployment. They'd get all the sludge out with this stuff, and then flush it out, put in new oil, send it on its way for the, its next deployment. And then by 1923, it's uh, been on the shelves for people like you and I, and uh, the hot riders have sworn by it. I've used it since high school, so we're going up on 20 years now. Uh, you can use it in your gasoline engines, in the fuel tank, or to help um, clean out the uh, engine itself by put, uh, mixing it in with the oil. Same thing with uh, diesels as well. I use it as a nice fuel additive uh, for my fuel just to keep everything nice and clean and flushed, and it seems to work out pretty good so far. Um, we can do a review on that in a separate video. But what exactly is in Marvel Mystery Oil? Is it such a mystery? Well, you can look up on the old Google machine and you can find the exact ratios, but it's somewhere uh, in like the 60%, give or take a few percent of uh, mineral oil and around 30% white mineral uh, solvent. And in that mixture, they put in a uh, carbon softener, they put in a heat polymer, and they put in an anti-wear agent. So all those things together makes for a really potent, uh, really po potent uh, injection cleaning system and engine oil cleaning system. I actually threw a little bit of this in uh, my last engine oil change uh, on the LB7, and it pulled out a lot of carbon deposits, so it definitely worked in that realm. And you can watch other videos of people demoing this stuff and just pouring it directly in their uh, short block and leaving it overnight and just watching all the uh, corrosion and all the carbon just melt away and it makes it really easy to scrub so it really is good stuff and what I'm banking on is it cleaning out my uh, all the carbon deposits that may be in my fuel injection system specifically fuel injector number four uh, historically uh, will peg out at negative 5.5 which means it gets stuck open and it can get unstuck with just using uh, uh, I use like two cycle oil and I used automatic transmission fluid and I've used this stuff but mainly I've just used it through the tank so it was mixing in. We are going to do a full 100% Marvel Mystery Oil uh, cleanse which means the engine is going to run just off of this oil and this oil is combustible and it should work out just fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up see how it works. Okay, we're up in the engine bay here, and the two fuel lines, your send and return line that you'll be working with is located directly behind your the hot side of your intercooler pipe, 
this turbo intercooler pipe. Bam, use these two lines. And they're pretty easy to get out here. I'm gonna need both hands to get you set up. Let me just pop this part off. There we go. Just easy little stamp on. Don't wanna lose those. And then I find that these angled fuel line disconnects are the ones you need really to uh, get in here. So this is a 3 8 so we'll need a 5 8 and a 3 8 And rinse and repeat with that bottom one. And also, uh, I did this off camera, but you want to warm up your truck. Get them injectors nice and hot, get everything nice and hot beforehand. fuel lines. And if you have one, want to disconnect your lift pump at this time otherwise your send and return lines right there are just gonna be shooting fuel all over the place so make sure to unplug that next you want to feed your tubes in the five eighths is a little short because I robbed some of that so I can so I could have so I could fix my fuel line over there Next, we're going to want to prime our system here, get all the air out. Now let's see if she starts. Okay. All right, I don't see any leaks. Okay, we're running. Right, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. We'll check it every half hour, but I think we're gonna try to run it for at least an hour and a half or so, and uh, make sure we get a nice deep cleanse of those injectors. Right, it's been about a half hour. Levels went down a little bit, but it's just sipping away at that Marble Mystery Oil. It's creating a little bit of exhaust smoke. It being a and oil. While it's just sipping away, I uh, figured I'd talk with you here for a few minutes just to answer some questions that I know will pop up in the comment section at some point in time. One is uh, you'll probably wonder why I didn't show the before and after uh, balance rates. Um, well, my balance rates are right in spec right now. They're actually doing really good. I'm doing this purge uh, for two reasons. One, I'm um, just curious to see if I can actually do this uh, with Marvel Mystery Oil and Two, um, going on a five week long, long uh, overland trip and I just wanted to make sure that I got a real nice deep cleanse uh, of those injectors and those fuel lines and I want to make sure that uh, this trip goes off without a hitch. Just I want it to be a nice solid trip. 
I want everything to be healthy and happy, and uh, I definitely want those injectors to be happy. Because there was a, a couple of times where injector number four got stuck over the past couple of years when I was up in the mountains, and it was just puking black smoke. Uh, but with the help of additives like Marvel Mystery Oil, Transmission Fluid, Two Cycle, I was able to bring it back around. But this time through, you know, I want to make sure that I actually do a full, do a full cleanse. Sorry about that. Want to make sure I get a full cleanse so that, uh, you know, nothing, nothing bad happens, you know, do my due diligence beforehand so that I'm not, uh, breaking things on the road. And if I'm going to break them, I might as well break them now uh, while I have all my tools and comforts of home and auto shops and things that I can pull off of. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm performing that. That's why you're not seeing those balance rates. Maybe I'll show the balance rates at the end. Um, but just want to give you a heads up. All right, we're at the one hour mark. Down about half a bottle now. We'll keep going. Right. We're about at the hour and a half mark. A little bit left. I think we're just going to keep on going. Another half hour. So. All right, it's been running for about two hours and 15 minutes. It's sounding pretty good. Shut her down here in a minute. Notice that annoying injector tick went away. Pretty sure that was injector four, I believe, was right here. We just got a little bit of fuel left. A little bit of Marvel Mystery Oil. So we're gonna go ahead and reverse the process. Disconnect those uh, hose lines, hook up the send and return line to the tank and uh, start it up and see how it runs. And if you have a lift pump, it's pretty easy to prime your fuel system. You just turn your key to the accessory mode. Make sure you get a nice stream. Sounds like we got a nice stream. Go ahead and turn this on. Okay. No more ticking. It's leaking. there you have it folks i think that's going to do it for this episode it seems like the uh, marvel mystery oil did uh it did make an improvement i had a pretty nasty 
a tick in the vicinity of Injector 4, which I am just going to assume that it is, it is Injector 4 since that's been my problem child for the past couple of years. Uh, but at around between like the one and a half and two hour mark, that tick just kind of dropped away and faded away into the uh, rest of the engine sounds. So that's good. Uh, the real test comes here in a few days when I uh, throw it on the ferry, take it on a five land, uh, five week overland trip and run it hard through the mountains. So we'll see uh, if the injectors stay nice and happy. That will be the test. But this was more uh, of an experimental video just to see if it can be done, see if there would be any difference. And because, um, you know, I haven't really seen anybody do too many things with Marvel Mystery Oil and definitely not a diesel purge before. So I wanted to try one out and I wanted to take you along for the uh, experience. Um, just because, you know, I, I know how difficult it is to find uh, diesel purge, um, any kind of diesel purge uh, products out there. Uh, especially if you're ordering online or if you, you know, you don't live in uh, the lower 48 states where everything can be driven around and you have to have it flown up to you like I do up in Alaska or you, maybe you live in Hawaii or somewhere where uh, they won't fly out that GM genuine upper engine cleaner that is now the AC Delco engine cleaner, um, which I think they even phase that one out now. And so the only real... Uh, diesel purge that you can find is made by BMW and I think it does pretty much the same thing but Marvel Mystery Oil $27 for a gallon run that for a couple hours uh, the engine did smooth out uh, so I'm guessing everything's nice and lubricated now uh, being how that Marvel Mystery Oil is an oil it's a really good lubricant and uh, the seal should be nice and reconditioned and uh, hopefully all the carbon deposits are now removed I'm happy. Happy I did it. That was uh, $27 and two hours uh, well spent, I think. Nothing's leaking. Everything seems to run good. And uh, it's probably the placebo effect and the fact that it's been warm now for a while. But it seems to have a little more get up and go, a little bit more pep in its step when you hit that pedal. Um, probably placebo effect, but who knows? Who knows? It, uh... Having happier, cleaner injectors with a nicer spray uh, does give you a better combustion uh, and therefore better power. So there might be something to it. I just can't prove it, really. Um, all I did is hook it up to a couple hoses and run it for a couple hours and then drive it again. But all in all, uh, if anything else, it got rid of that injector ticking. The idle is a little bit more smooth. And the engine is a little bit more quiet now after that. So... Pretty happy with that. Going to call that a win. And uh, I think that'll do it for this video. So thanks for sticking around this long. If you found this interesting or helpful in any way, go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Um, as well as uh, you know, comment down with any questions or experiences you've had with Marvel Mystery Oil. I don't know too many people who uh, abuse this stuff over the years. So be interesting uh, to hear what other people have to say about it but i gotta get back to setting this camper up i gotta leave in a couple of days channel is going to be quiet for uh the next month and a half or so while i go play in my toy go do some hunting and fishing and camping around uh for a while and uh i'll make sure to film as much of that as i can and bring you along for the ride so you definitely going to want to hit that bell button to uh be notified when we're back up and running and the next video drops all right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you on the next one.